One may sometimes tell a lie, but the grimace that accompanies it tells the truth. Frederick Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Nietzsche? Nietzsche? Hey, you two. Welcome back to Room 29. It's weird that we're not in Room 29. But at the same time, I kind of like the idea that it's not a physical space anymore. It's a virtual one. And so, it's here. As I'm recording this video, I'm realizing that this is not... Uh, recorded in the style that I used to do that's uh, intended for you know, a wide and strange audience that I don't that I don't know that I'm not familiar with it's, it's much more like a letter um, we'll see that this is this is very much to Josh and Emily since I'm not seeing you every day uh, and much less to internet strangers who will probably not enjoy this video at all you know, sorry, this is kind of weird. My software hasn't been playing nice with my hardware. And it's been a long time trying to get stuff working. So I'm going to figure something else out later. For now, this is going to have to work. So this video is about my top five lies. Number five, I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions. Most people probably don't feel bad about this one. I'm a little frustrated by it because I would actually like to know what I'm agreeing to, uh, but I don't have time to play lawyer every time I install something or sign up for a service, and I don't like signing things I haven't read because I know I'm liable to them regardless, and most of the time it's not important, it's stuff I could have assumed was in there, um, it's, it's nothing but unordinary but sometimes it's binding arbitration and it's I, I don't want to find out later that I've agreed to something that I wouldn't have wanted to agree to line number four is much less silly um, but not at all unique to me and it is that I'm fine um, on one hand it's because when people ask how are you 95% of the time they're not asking how you are they're saying hi and I feel kind of strange about that one too. Um, it's it's a cultural thing that I, I think is bizarre, um, but find myself going along with anyway. Because um, I don't really want to stop somebody from saying hi and say, my day is bad, you know, or, or I've been going through tough stuff, because the only appropriate answer to that question seems to be, good or great uh, so that's what I do I say I'm good how are you in other words hi and move on but I guess the other thing too is I just hate hate people worrying about me so even when people actually are asking I tend to say I'm fine anyway because I don't want people to have to worry about something in my life that doesn't have anything to do with them and that they can't change and shouldn't have to worry about I know that you know if I'm not fine now things are going to be okay eventually and I'll deal with it you know I want to deal with it I don't want to make anybody else deal with it lie number three is what I would call a lie of omission um, I say very little of what I think uh, sometimes I will lean towards a casual snarky uh, humorous remark uh, which is much more intellectually uh, cheap <laughs> um, it, it doesn't offer a lot of substance to the conversation um, but it, it deflects attention away from uh, my true thoughts um, I'm very I can be very private even when I'm when I'm pretending not to be and and sometimes I will have uh, things that sometimes I'll, I'll want to say things to people um, but will choose not to um, 
and I'm not entirely sure what those reasons are. Um, if if it's appreciation for a person, um, I, I try to make myself say those things. Um, a lot of times it's aggravation with a person, and in those cases I think it's better usually to just um, take a step back, calm down a bit first. Um, I think a lot of those times I'm, I'm taking something too personally, uh, or, or whatever, but, but I definitely tend to lean uh, towards not saying something over saying something, um, no matter however true, that, that I might regret or that might uh, embarrass me. I guess the other thing too is that I'm, I'm actually pretty shy. I try to disguise that, um, but I just, it, it's hard for me to come out and really uh, reveal myself uh, to people. And I think that's another reason, one, for cheap, snarky comments, um, but two, just for not being very open and, and forthcoming with what I'm really thinking and feeling. Lie number two is actually one of my favorite lies, um, and, and that, that's the lie of confidence. Um, I, I say that faked confidence is almost as good as the real thing. I think that confidence is important, um, but it's it's very much a feeling, and you don't get to choose what you feel. And if you're not feeling confident, at least in a social situation, um, pretending you are will work pretty much just as just as well. Um, and in time, yeah, that faked confidence can become real confidence, and if it works, you, you'll find out that, hey, I'm not as awkward as I thought I was, uh, social situations are much more manageable than I thought they were, um, and, and if it's if it's self-confidence, then it's people are much more accepting of me than I was afraid they would be. Faking confidence does not work so well if you are a doctor or a statistician. My last lie is the lies I tell myself and the lies we tell ourselves, and I think that they are the most dangerous, um, but they're also the hardest to identify. So I won't be any more specific here. Um, I think that one of the great values of having a good friend is when they are able to point those out and reveal them to you and say, look, you're, you're full of crap. <laughs> um, you, you can get yourself into situations you never wanted to be in that way. You can persist uh, with choices that aren't in your best interest, that, that you can convince yourself you want, but you don't, and you're doing it for some other reason, uh, whether it's fear or expectations. And, and ultimately, those lies are about who you tell yourself you are. And that can be an incredibly powerful, powerful thing. And when you lie to yourself, it becomes a very dangerous thing. So those are my top five lies. I'm looking forward to hearing what yours are. I hope this format was not too crude uh, for what we're used to. Um, I'm glad we're starting this up again. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys.